Hello, I'm Dr. Thanos, and in this video I'm going to be giving you a few tips on how to build walls in Minecraft. Now, as uh, you've just seen, or you might not have seen, I just posted a video on uh, the walls that I built in my tutorial. Uh, my tutorial, yes, my tutorial of um, a medieval village. Now, in, in that, I uh, didn't really explain how I built the walls, so I'm just going to do a little uh, tutorial and a little explanation on how you should really build walls. Or, if you want, you can completely ignore it, but that's your choice. Anyway, so um, here we have a wall that is built with the same block with a few crenellations on the top. Now, it's not particularly interesting, but it is a wall. Now, just with making a few changes, you can actually um, make a wall that's rather more interesting. Now, here I've, we've gone for a repetitive pattern, so you can just uh, continue this pattern over and over again. Also, if you can, try and pick an, uh, an, uh, either an unpair or pair number of blocks, depending on your, the size of your crenellations, so they all line up. So here we've gone for two cobblestone, uh, some stone chiseled, uh, some chiseled stone bricks, sorry, a ladder, and two fence posts. So um, this is a relatively simple uh, thing to do. It doesn't require many more materials, but uh, slightly more than this. But then it's something interesting, and the wall isn't always the same thing over and over again. So here I also added some torches on top of some fences. Um, or you could go down, you could go down the other path, which is the um, not the pattern path, but the randomness path, and try and build it randomly or give it a sort of rundown feel. Now here we've done this by changing some of the stone brick blocks that we had, both of these made of just stone brick blocks, to um, a few of them with uh, cracked stone brick blocks and some cobblestone. So that gives it a um, sort of worn feel. Also, the top crenellations have been worn down, so they're only half slabs now, and uh, some of the crenellations might have fallen off, so they're on the floor. Uh, I know they're not exactly the same material, but then that's just some variety. So we also have um, some torches and some uh, iron bars here to give uh, the break up the, the continuity of the wall, so it, there are holes in it instead of just um, a solid block. Again, if you want, um, if you want to try and do this rundown feel, uh, try and put the torches on maybe not the crenellation block where they would be if you had crenellations like these. They are nice and neatly on the fences. Uh, here we have them off the fences. Of course, you can't put them on stone slabs, but you might might want to put them actually. Um, uh, for example like this, maybe on, on the blocks themselves, but if you can avoid it, try not to do this because that, that makes it look much more formal and well built. Um, here we have uh, another option which is uh, the overgrown look, so we've kept most of the wall intact, just one or two that have turned into slabs here, and of course the torches that have been moved, and uh, try to limit the amount of torches as well, because this would be lit up because it's a brand new build, this, both of these which are run down or um, overgrown, they'll have less torches so the lighting wouldn't be as good. Uh, do it uh, as sparsely as possible or hide lighting under leaves, for example. Uh, so uh, we also have uh, some mossy st uh, stone bricks, some mossy cobblestone, and uh, some a few cracked stone bricks in here as well. So again, to give it the rundown feel, but here also the overgrown look. Now, this is why I prefer to build in stone bricks and not in wood, as we'll see in a second, uh, because you have quite a lot more variety with stone, because you have all the, you have the cobblestone, you have the smooth stone, stone bricks, uh, cracked stone bricks, chiseled stone bricks, and um, all the mossy types, which is much easier to build with than the wood, if you want to build walls. Um, but here we also used um, the tall grass to hide some of the building, to give it an overgrown look. And I put one orchid down, try not to put too many plants down, all the plants that have a completely different colour like the roses, and that, that would make it completely, um, or it makes, it makes it stand out and makes it look um, rather less overgrown, homogenous and uh, rather particular thing, so as if there's an order or symmetry to the build. So we're trying to do it as randomly as possible. Um, the, that'll be it's about for the, um, the stone walls, so we're going to go to the other walls, the other possibility. If you want, you can do the same thing. We had stone bricks, we had wood. These are two general materials that people build walls out of, which is uh, wood and stone bricks, stone and cobblestone, etc. So here we've gone to the pattern, so we've got a uh, uh, th four blocks here that go up and then go down again. Uh, added ladders. You can actually add ladders to the stone bricks as well, as we did here, because the wood contrasts slightly with the, uh, the grey of the, um, the stone and just a different type of panels. I use um, birch wood for these panels and oak wood for these and dark oak pillars here. So again with the overgrown look which looks quite quite a lot nicer than, uh, than this one uh, for the wood texture. Um, we've gone for leaves again. Leaves which are different, don't always use the same leaves or else you'll, you'll run the same problem as, as using the same blocks uh, for the walls. You'll have just the same thing again and again and again. So try and variate the leaf types if you can. Uh, we've gone for the double grass here, or you can just put bone meal down if you want it to be even more random, some vines, and we've tried to keep, keep the ladders. And the, the torches here, the problem is that uh, to give uh, the difference of height between these two blocks, I put a slab down, but we can't put torches down on it. 
so the torches will have to stay like that. You could actually have one of the torches fallen onto the ground like so and and remove that. That still gives the, roughly the same amount of lighting, but um, in a little bit uh, a little bit of a different way. So all of these builds, again, you can uh, just uh, reproduce them on larger scale or the random ones there, are very, well, very easy. You, there's no pattern to follow, so it's a relatively good uh, thing to do so you don't have to uh, tediously try and build the same thing over and over again. That's the one problem with uh, patterns in the walls is you have to do the same thing over and over again. Um, also, if you want to make the walls look a little bit less uh, man-made or a little bit less rigid, you want to build them over the top of uh, things, so you don't destroy necessarily the blocks, you make them go over the blocks to give them the, the feel that they've been built with the landscape, not against it, so you don't destroy the blocks, or you leave them um, hills, for example, as uh, in the way, or maybe just uh, clear the ledge out to give it still the fortification feel, but uh, not the fact that you've just destroyed everything because you can do that in Minecraft, which is relatively easy. But if you don't, then at least your walls will look a little bit more uh, random or a little bit give them more character than if you just build straight walls like this. Because if you build them up, it does also give you challenges and how you want to um, continue your decoration. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode, this little tutorial on uh, wall building, wall building tips, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>